this video boys i'm gonna be going over the most i ain't gonna lie the most toxic defense right now in Madden 25 now this defense is is probably the best in the game after post patch because uh the blitzing right now is inconsistent a lot of stuff is inconsistent right now as far as defense and getting pressure is like rng right now so make sure you hit the like button sub to the channel let's go and get into this video Right here on the screen, we are in a multiple D defensive playbook, but you can run this in different formation and you can find this in uh, you can find this in other playbooks. But the formation I want to show y'all boys is out of the dime three two formation. And you want to go to your coach adjustments and how I run it, I run by speed, cornerback matchups, and then I run um, option defense on or oh, my fault, option defense on aggressive. And uh after that, that's pretty much it, boys. That's all you want to touch. And I'm going to tell you boys why this is like one of the most toxic defenses. And if you watch W, you watch um, K-Mac, you watch a lot of meta, like like MCS players, you know, like pro players. This is a defense that a lot of people are playing, playing up against and running. So let me go ahead and go here. Oh, the, the play you want to come out in is cover two man. Come out in cover two man, y'all. And let's go ahead and come out. Let's say right here, Z-Spot. So what a lot of people are doing right now, especially if you do play Mutt, and if you don't have like an elite squad, I'm not going to lie. If you don't got an elite squad or a good elite uh, theme team, boys, this will give you problems. And what they're doing is they're simply pressing and shading underneath, okay? And what they're doing is they're manning up a certain receiver. So what they're doing is they're shading underneath, and they'll first the first way they're running is just by leaving both of these deep blues on the field and shading underneath and using this blitzing guy. And then press an RB guest pass, and then just basically praying for a uh, praying for a shed. So like right here, you see right here, everything is bagged. Like y'all looked on the field. Now I'm not even trolling. This like this defense is crazy, but this this is what people are running, and it works, right? So you're going to see right here, right? All I did was shade underneath. Oh, you see the flat route from the from the halfback. That's not open. Now the streak from ten they get open, right? If he, you can highball this, right? Highball this. But the D Blue is gonna play this, right? So you can't really throw that, right? And then you see this crosser route. Joey Porter got guy one on locked, like because you're shaded underneath. So it's basically like not a lot, not, not a lot of stuff can get open when you shade underneath, right? Besides maybe a streak and a corner route, right? Now another thing they're doing is right. They're shade, they're pressing and shading underneath. And and let's say we put a corner route on the field. So let's see what this play is. Boom. Let's say we put uh, my boy Evans on the corner route, shade him down. Let me see right here. How does it look? I'm going to put X on a streak and I'm going to motion him out, right? They're going to motion him out. Boom, right? And they put X on a streak like this. And then this is the play there when they put RB on a flat route or something like this. Now, the defense, what they'll do is, right? Or if they know that you're running corner routes a certain way, if you've been doing it, especially like up against Bunch, they would just shade underneath and leave a deep blue on the field right here and then just move them over and use the other deep blue and then put this blitzing guy and they like a like a curl flat so like this and then user this guy user this deep blue so and what they'll do is if godwin isn't on a streak they'll just run around with this user and as if that's their user right even though he, that's the deep blues on the right side if they're predicting right you know what i'm saying 90 percent of the time they're just, this is going to be good defense so you see right here b does get open on that drag right a little bit boom but i did have a curl flat and another thing is boys if you don't know how to free form now right here we do get time in the pocket right there and we did this there was some routes that was open but if you don't know how to free form or high ball free form this defense can give you problems i'm not going to say a lot of y'all boys like if you don't know how to high form or nothing like that this defense will give you problems but that's another thing i want to i want to tell y'all if you don't know how to high form you might be cooked you just might be cooked okay so y'all boys see right here not the flat route you see the tight end he does get kind of open but my user was right there the drag route did get open this time so the drag route did get open the corner route that is open this is why i say if you don't know how to high form if you don't know how to high form this you, you're cut yeah you, you're literally cut not gonna lie to y'all boys okay so if you, once you know how to high form this is going to be open especially with a high a tall receiver like mike evans okay so uh, a guy like Mike Evans, if you just if you know how to high form, you're gonna get that. That's gonna be open 90% of the time. Now you did see that drag route did, did get open. What you want to do to stop that, uh, if you do want to run this defense, is you want to go ahead and shade underneath, move this guy back out, right? Use it, this guy. All you want to do is put this guy in a hard flat, and the deep blue is gonna play the corner route a lot better. You're gonna play it going to play that uh way better okay what you're gonna he's gonna play the corner route and then the hard fight is gonna play the drag route way better and all you got to do is use it this guy right here the top safety 
And if they are on a streak, what a lot of people was doing and is still doing, especially in mud, if they do see a streak, right? What they'll do is they do something like this, and they see a streak on the field, they'll run back with it a little bit and then run down just enough for you know the defense to recover. And that's what they'll do. Like this defense, I, it might not seem toxic until you play against it. Once you play against this defense, you'll understand how hard this and how good this defense actually is, especially on all Madden and Mutt. This defense will give you problems. Okay, like it literally will. Now you see this right here, even though he looked open right here. If you don't if you don't free form this right that's an undercut interception like literally boys i'm not gonna lie after post patch this defense is one of the best in the game so make sure to hit the like button sub to the channel and uh i'll see y'all boys in the next video peace